A few months ago, I did a video about photogrammetry and how it can be used in ArcViz, and really no one watched it. So maybe you guys aren't using photogrammetry. I don't know. But there's something new that has happened, and it's from Epic Games, and I think it might change your mind a little bit. Photogrammetry, of course, is the process of scanning any 3D object just using photos, and it's become easier than ever now with an announcement from Epic Games this week that their photogrammetry software, Reality Scan, is now available as an app on Android. And it's been available as an app on iPhone already, but I don't have an iPhone, I have an Android. So I've been testing out the capabilities of Reality Scan on my phone this week, and it's pretty awesome. So I want to take a look at it with you guys, and I think that you'll find it interesting too. And if you aren't using Reality Scan on your desktop, then, well, you should be. It's an awesome software, and it makes it really, really nice for certain situations where you need to scan a physical object. Just a note here, the desktop version is called Reality Capture, actually, and it is a very robust software that can do all sorts of things. The Reality Scan is the mobile version, and it's really focused on just scanning the object. It does an extremely good job. The video I did before was with Meshroom, which is a free tool. And frankly, it's crap compared to Reality Scan. And Reality Scan is so cheap as to be almost free. I mean, use Reality Scan. It's so good. And on your phone, it's also pretty cool. It does the same, it has the same capabilities. So let's just look at the announcement from Epic and... I'm going to demonstrate how you can get it and how you can use it, how it works, show you an example I made. And I think it's compelling because in my professional work, I use scanning fairly often these days. And this is just the best way to get it done. So let me show you how it works. And you let me know if you think it's useful. And maybe you can work it into your workflow as well. So I just chose something really simple, a set of needle nose pliers. You do, you can't scan every object successfully because super reflective materials get messed up and things like that. There's a lot of things to consider and I've gone over that in other videos. But for this video, I'm just gonna use these simple pliers as an example. So once you're inside the app, once you've downloaded it and started a new project, it becomes very intuitive. You can see here on the screen that I'm just using my phone like a camera and taking pictures all around this object. And it actually shows me where I've already taken pictures and it starts processing them. You wanna create like a dome around this whole object, getting it from every angle possible. And eventually it'll start generating itself using like a point cloud and it'll show you which parts you have already clearly scanned and which parts you haven't and so you can continue to work until you have the whole thing scanned well there's the point cloud showing up and the green areas are properly processed as you can see as more photos process we're getting more of that object figured out and this area here needs some work okay and i did this really quickly for demonstration purposes you could be really meticulous about how well you scan this item. And you'll see in the end that I got a pretty good scan, not a perfect one. There's a few places I missed, but that's just because of me being hasty and not because of some shortcoming of the app. Okay, so you might be wondering, what the heck do we do with this now? We've got it scanned and we've got all these little dots Supposedly, this is generating a high-quality model of it. Okay, great. What do we do with it? Well, when you finish your project, it will it will generate the model, and you can navigate around it. You can tumble around it, zoom around it, which is awesome. Uh, now, we need to translate that into something usable in the real world, so I will actually demonstrate what we can do with it. The, fr the main thing is that you can upload it to Sketch fab directly from the app sketchfab is also owned by epic games they own all the best tools somehow and they make them very cheap and accessible so that is fantastic i love epic games for that so sketchfab is a huge marketplace of 3d models and you can upload your scans to there and it's like mostly free but not entirely free depending on how much you're uploading
But if you're just trying out this app for the first time, you can totally upload it to Sketchfab for free and just use your Epic account or many other accounts that it can be linked to or just set up a new account to use Sketchfab and upload your model there. Once it's there, let's take a look at what you can do. Okay, once you're on Sketchfab, there's, you know, there's a million models here. One cool thing is that if you go to my account, it says that I have 48 upload credits left until the reset on July 20th. So I uploaded my first one on June 20th, and that's the only model I've uploaded. I could upload 48 more with the credits that I have. If I go to my models, well, I guess I've done two. That was my first test. It didn't work. <laughs> but the pliers are here. I just have these set to private because it's just for myself. But this is the scan that I got. Let it refine for a little bit. Here we go. And you can see that where I took pictures well, and it was it was well processed, it actually looks very good, right? Especially right in here. The edges get slightly jaggy maybe. As you can see, if we get in really close. And back here, I didn't get good enough pictures, obviously. And of course, I'm only taking one side of, this, of these pliers because it's laying down on a table. I'd have to make some sort of rig to stand them up straight to get them fully around. But you can see the capabilities. So the, the limitation really here is my ability to scan it well, right? And you actually crop it within the software as well to make it this nice little crop. You just drag in a box around it and tell it which part you want to process. And it spits you out this model, which I think is pretty usable and pretty good for how long it took me to do this. Since it was just a demonstration, you know, I did this extremely quickly without really thinking about it much. And already I'm getting fairly good results. And with a little bit of attention to detail, I think the app is obviously capable of very good results. And I use Re Reality Capture on desktop all the time and get very good results. And we're using the same technology here, okay? So what can we do with it once it's in Sketchfab? We have this little model, great. We can, of course, download it. If you go right here and say download, we can save it to our computer. So this enables me to download it in its original format, and then I'm going to take it into Max and clean it up, right? That's something you can do too. You can also get these to work as Unreal assets and import them into Unreal Engine, which is super awesome. Okay, so you have a 3D model. Now it's just up to you as the 3D artist, what you want to do with it. I'm going to take it into Max and show you what I did there, and then we'll be done with this. I mean, that's all there is to it. Super simple way to get photo scans. Let's check it out in 3ds Max real quick. Okay, what I did in Max is I just brought it in, and if I look at this real close, you'll see that I kind of I kind of symmetried this along this axis here so that... I could clean up some of that mess in the back. So if we're doing an honest, honest assessment of this, I would say that the model is good enough and the textures projecting on it does a lot of work to make it look better, right? It is not perfect for up close shots. It would work great for far away shots and just filling out your scene with objects. The other thing I would say, if I'm being honest, is that there's a reason why in the examples, they always show loaves of bread, if you've noticed, with photogrammetry. And that's because bread works super well. It doesn't have these hard edges. It doesn't have reflective surfaces. And those two things make it a lot easier to scan and look really, really realistic. The other thing that I use it for all the time in the real world is for scanning miniature statues. Okay, so if statues, you know, and they're typically made out of clay, so they also work really well for the same reasons bread work. Bread works. So I can scan a miniature statue made out of clay, bring it in, blow it up to life size, turn it into a bronze statue, right? So if ever there's commissioned sculptures in one of my rendering pieces, that's how I do it. And you can use it for those sorts of things. So keep that in mind, you know, not all objects are perfect for photo scanning, but a lot of them, it's simply the best, easiest, fastest, and maybe only way to get it done. Okay, so let's just take a look real quick about how my model will actually render. Let's render this with V-Ray and see what we get. Okay, that's really not bad except for the crappy parts of the model that I didn't scan well. 
okay especially like in here and up here this stuff looks super good and depending on how close you are to it in your camera that's gonna work pretty nicely for you actually uh, the other thing I should mention is that this one was the, the straight-up model that came in from photogrammetry and this one here is a retopoed one using the retopo the brilliant retopo modifier in 3ds max which did a very good job of doing a retopo on it if you look at the wireframe okay so messy one cleaner one and it's not super high poly or anything it works pretty well okay so there's a little rundown of reality scan and how it can work for you and i talked about some of the things it works well for and some of the things it can't do as well but i want to hear from you about what you think about this if you're going to be using it maybe you already have maybe you're using reality capture on desktop but i'm interested to know kind of how photogrammetry works into your overall workflow I know people use photogrammetry with drones to generate whole site plans and, you know, all sorts of different implications. I want to hear from you in the comments about what you think about this app and if you're going to be using it. Maybe you just use it for fun, but I think it has interesting implications. I think it will continue to get better. And for certain things, I will absolutely, absolutely be using it in my current workflow right away. So thanks for watching. Enjoy Reality Scan. See you in the next video.